NATO expansion far beyond the lines that were agreed on back in 1990 and 1991. You may remember there was an agreement that said the U.S. would not even go into East Germany. And now we're all the way to Lithuania and Georgia and Ukraine and all these places. Now, what we're headed into is a Polish missile crisis. You had the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. That was bad enough. The Polish Missile Crisis is going to be worse because there are elements in Poland, there are elements in the Czech Republic. There's even an element in Lithuania. There's a forward tentacle of that system in Lithuania right on Russia's doorstep. What is the goal of that? It is the ability to have a first strike surprise attack to destroy the Russian nuclear deterrent on the ground and then the uh, second strike launched by the Russians can somehow be suppressed by these missiles in Poland. So it is a step towards World War III. And uh, it is Brzezinski, an another uh, angle that goes with it. The independence of Kosovo, under what amounts to a criminal organization in my view, is another one of Brzezinski's uh, projects. And this, of course, is designed as an affront to Russia. Today we have the indictment of the, the capture of this guy, Kar Karadzic. Karadzic is a very bad guy. But why now? And what's the goal? This is to, designed to further inflame relations with Russia, uh, even as uh, a possibility of war between Russia and Georgia comes on the horizon. So this is now a full strategic envelopment. This is not just Iraq and the Persian Gulf. This is now a worldwide strategy. And again, the mind of it is Brzezinski, this is already being implemented in the United States. I, I, I better point that out, too. Uh, you think you see Bush and Cheney as the leaders of the United States. They're not. They're gone. They're finished. It, not even lame ducks. Uh, they're the janitors of the White House, the groundskeepers. They're there for show. They're just figureheads to make people think that, that normal stuff is, is still going on.